Do you guys want to have your MCC menu look like this? Or maybe something that you prefer something else of? Could be anything you want. I'm going to show you guys in this video how to customize your MCC menu and do it in the actual game where you could still play multiplayer stuff with easy anti-cheat still enabled. As far as I know, there is nothing wrong with this. And there's two programs that you guys are going to need and possibly a third if you're trying to do something else and we'll touch on that in a little bit. But the very first one you want to have downloaded, all these links will be in the description down below, is the Bink Video Downloader. So you're going to go ahead and go to this website, click on the Rad Video Tools, and there save it to whatever area you want to save it to on your hard drive. And also download 7-Zip, which is just an unzipper. I tried this in WinRAR, I already had WinRAR, but for whatever reason, it wasn't working. But as soon as I downloaded 7-Zip, it worked. And you guys can see it says this is a 7-Zip compressed and encrypted file. So just to be on the safe side, I used 7-Zip instead of WinRAR. Once you have both of those downloaded, go on in into 7-Zip. And I will show you guys how to do it right here. Find the RAD tool, extract it. And then you're going to enter the password as RAD, I did all caps. Then you click OK. Once that is done, you're going to run the setup for this program. And then you're going to get whatever kind of video file you guys want. Get that ready. So if it is an MP4, you're going to need the QuickTime downloader if you're on Windows. For whatever reason, RAD did not want to recognize MP4s when I tried to go on ahead and basically convert it. So just in case, I downloaded this QuickTime thing because that's what it told me to do basically, and it worked after that. So if you guys are doing MP4, you're gonna need QuickTime. Any other kind of files like MKV or anything like that, you should be fine. So now that we're in the Rad Video Tools, you're gonna find whatever file you want to be your main menu theme or whatever theme. It could be your multiplayer theme for each subsequent Halo game, it doesn't matter. And I'll show you guys here. So you'll choose whatever one you want. And for example, I'm going to use my Halo Infinite MCC screen here that I've made. And I will link these ones that I made myself as well down in the description for you guys in case you want to use those. I'm sure some of you more tech savvy people out there can actually do better versions than I've done. But just in case. So I use this one. And you see it's selected down here. Then you're going to click this big button right here. It says Bink It. All right. And this step is really important guys. So you're gonna delete the ending here after the period and you're gonna type in BK2. You want it to be a Bink2 file, not a Bink1 file or else it won't work. And as far as compressing the audio, this is the only setting that I messed with. I changed this to zero because I didn't want it to really mess up my audio. I tried just unchecking it so I didn't have any compression and the audio didn't come through. So. Just for the sake of argument here, put this at zero so you don't lose any of your audio quality if you're doing your own, and then click the Bink button. Once you do that, it takes a while, depending on your PC, to basically render this out and go on ahead and convert it. Once that is done, you guys are going to head on over to your MCC files. So once you do that, the easiest way in case you guys get lost and can't find MCC, I go into my Steam, say if you're on Steam. If you're on Windows Store, I honestly not sure how you would do this because I know Windows Store is a little bit more of a pain in the butt to go on ahead and quote unquote mod than the Steam version. So what I do is I go to Manage, Browse Local Files on the Halo Master Chief Collection, then it'll bring you to the folder that you need. From here, you guys are going to click on MCC then go to content, then go to movies. And then this is where we're going to spend most of our time. As you guys can see, I already have something there. But for the sake of the video, I'm going to put everything back to the default and show you guys exactly how to do it from the beginning. So your menu will look like this in your file browser. And you guys can see it says like Halo 1 background, Halo 2 background, Halo 3 ODST background, Halo 4, Halo Reach. So every time you load in or click on Halo Reach, for example, this is what the file that's going to load in, that Reach background. Same thing with the main menu here. You're going to click on the V2 one, and that's going to be whatever background MCC is telling the game to go ahead and load. So that's what we want to change if you want to just change your main menu. Like I said, you guys could do this for anything in this folder. So for that, we're actually going to click and then click again. I'm going to copy the name of this. 
And then we're going to go right click on here and open up our file explorer again. Go to wherever you guys basically converted your video to using the program, the Bink program. Now that you have that name copied, what I do is I actually rename this original file to something just slightly different. I'll just put a parentheses in there and put a one just so you know what the original one is just in case you want to revert it back. All right, now let's say we want to use this infinite MCC screen too. Like I said, you're going to go on ahead and rename it the same exact thing as the original file minus the parentheses and whatever you put in there. That's why we copied it beforehand before we changed it. Now, once you guys do that, you can just drag it and drop it into the desired folder in the movie section from wherever you had it saved, or you could copy and paste it. So you will have one that shows as the original and then the one that we edited, which is actually the real original, but it has the parentheses one there. So if you just double check it, boom, that's my new background that I want it to be. And make sure it says Bing 2 video. If you did anything wrong in the steps and it says Bing 1 or just Bing video, then it will not work. That's why that one step with renaming it BK2 is so important. So once you guys do that, you should be good to go. You launch your MCC, and you could even change the splash screen here too if you want like a classic Halo 2 guitar riff bungee intro if you'd like. Now if whatever video you guys are using has music in the background that you guys want to hear, and you don't want to hear the MCC menu music, the beautiful thing about the PC version of MCC is you can go in and actually mute the menu music by going into settings, then going to audio, and then menu music volume. Turn that down to zero. And if for example, you guys are using my Halo Infinite MCC loading screen that has the new track, Set a Fire in Your Heart, that 343 just released, I believe yesterday, which is composed by the highly talented Gareth Coker who actually worked on the Ori series. And he is actually the third composer on Halo Infinite. You guys will be able to hear that in the background in all its glory. And that's really it guys, that is, just about the gist of it. If you guys need any help, feel free to put a comment in the comment section down below. I try to answer as many comments as I possibly can. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like if this helped you out and you guys are hyped to go on ahead and customize your menus in MCC. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to catch you on a previous video of mine or a future video of mine. And until that time comes, I'm your boy Patman and I'm out.